So today I want to do a video quickie. In three minutes or less, I want to explain the deep state. Seems to be a lot of uh, controversy, a lot of varying opinions of what exactly is the deep state. The deep state is doing this, and the deep state is doing that. What is the deep state? Let's talk about the deep state. Okay, so the deep state, when we hear that term, is the deep state, when we watch TV, oh, it's Comey, it's McCabe, it's the FBI, right? It's Hillary Clinton and the CIA, and it's it's the monies flowing into this, you know, the Washington Post. This is deep state, right? Not really. They're operatives of a deep state, right? But are they deep state? Yes, they are deep state. How do you know that they're deep state? Because their opinions, their true opinions, reflect the status quo, meaning that. When these people speak, they, they speak a universal uh, talking point, right? An agreed upon talking point coming out of Congress, right? Senate, whoever, right? But the thing to know about deep state is, is this. All, all of the judicial, the court systems, all of the executive branch, including Trump all the way down to the municipalities, and all of the uh, all Congress and Senate, right? All of the, the, the legislative branches are all now in some form or another deep state. But who funds the deep state? See, the, these, are, these are technically our entire, our entire system of, uh, of, of politics in America. The judicial, the, the executive branch, and the legislative are all deep state operatives. They're all operations of the deep state. CIA, CIA, FBI falls underneath executive branch. Technically, Trump is responsible for that, but you see that he has no power over it anymore, right? Who has all the power? It used to be the Constitution above, right? What I'm leading up to is, yes, all of these branches of government are, in fact, deep state. All of the operatives, right? You see how, how it operates, right? You see how the money flows into politics the, you know uh, bribery is now legal it's, it's legal to bribe politicians put money in their accounts and then get a favor out the back door it's all become legal citizens united right we know all that right? but you see you see how how money flowed into the clinton foundation it sits there and then because of her position as secretary of state potentially the president the president of the united states the wife of a, of a former sitting United States President, Bill Clinton, right? You see how that money, and with the Clintons, it was so transparent and so obvious. She actually kept the book of who the favors would go to, right? It's highly illegal, yeah, but it doesn't, you know, there's, there's no more, there's no accountability because they're all in on it, right? So anybody who, who joins this judicial, the judges, the, the, you know, all the judges, the politicians, the elected officials, the governors, right? <laughs> They're all in on it, right? Even the municipalities. You see how the how, how do you rig an election? How, how do you how do you get a you know the entire state to rig an election, right? Because you, it's controlled under the executive branch. Obama was you know you, if you don't do your job, you're fired, right? Do what we tell you to do. Or get the fuck out. So that's that's those are, that's what's now called deep state operatives. But the big part, the big part that you must understand, if you want to stop that, right? You could run and, and try to unelect these people and do all you want, right? But the bottom line is that the corporations, above all that, the money, right? The flow of money, corporations, 10, 15, 20,000 publicly traded corporations with all of the money and all the power and all of the influence. One example, Goldman Sachs, for example. This is a good example. It's a Wall Street firm, investment banking firm, so powerful they can sink, na sink nations. They did it to Greece. They, you know, they can, it, enormous power and enormous breadth and enormous wealth, right? When they want, want a law, when they want an SEC uh, law, they want some kind of, you know, Wall Street law passed, right? They, they just, they simply, you know, pay off the politicians and they get their law passed right and 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 if, if they can't get that law passed they'll hire a, you know a whole floor full of uh, lawyers to unwind that law so 
the real deep state, the real deep state is not the operatives, Comey, McCabe. The, the, look, the jury's already, the discovery is already over. These people are extremely corrupt. We see, we see the corruption with our own eyes and we see the lack of prosecution across the board, right? Hillary Clinton and, you know, and the Democrats caught red-handed rigging an election against Bernie Sanders and then an attempt to do it to, to Trump and then ultimately finding a scapegoat, creating a red scare, creating this fictitious enemy, you know, <laughs> the Russians, right? It's so stupid, right? But that's, these are operatives that take the money and then mouth the, the thing and, and it's, it's, it's you who, who is the victim, is the target of this because they're all paid off. You're the slave working, you know, for minimum wage at Walmart, right? While Walmart own, has, you know, the Walmart family has 40% of the country's wealth, you know, and, they, and their employees are on food stamps, right? This kind of shit, right? So the deep state is all of the people we're talking about. And most importantly, the, the deep state controllers, the people that really control the levers of power, are the corporations and the lobbyists that pay off the politicians, that pay off the judges, that pay off the municipalities from top to bottom, because it's all legal now. It's all legal. You can run for office and they'll put, you know, a million dollars in your in your uh, campaign account, and then you give them the favor. You owe that you're you're wholly owned by this organization. So, just keep my 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 point is that deep state. If you want to overthrow the deep state, right, right, you have to go after the corporations. You must hold them accountable. You must tax them. You must bring them back down to size. If, if breaking up the banks is still even possible, that is a possibility. But if it's not, just tax them. That's all. Bring the tax rate for anybody who makes over $10 million, bring it up to any corporations generating over $10 million in revenue raise the tax rate to 80%, right? And for everybody else, you might even want to eliminate income tax after you do that. Individual income tax is technically unconstitutional. Why should people pay income tax? The corporations are supposed to be generating the money and trickling it down on our behalf, but they don't do that because they take the jobs, they ship them overseas, they look, right? So that's deep state, right? So when you hear the, the definition of, when you hear the word deep state, now you know what it is. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative reporter, journalist here on YouTube, candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.